guys and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a video about my beauty favorite makeup, favorite like stuff, skincare, whatever, like stuff like that. So yeah, please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Um, and let's get straight into the video guys. So my first beauty favorite is here. Um, inside it has powders. It's a bit dirty, sorry guys, I've obviously used it quite a bit. It's got powders, it's got wax, and it's got like loads of different pomades, and then it's got a little angled brush. And then it's got these little eyebrow stencils where you can like basically draw your eyebrows on without like having to actually make shape. So the shape's already there for you kind of thing, which is pretty cool. I don't know how much it retails for, but I will do some research and I will list it down below. My next favorite is this Krylon contour wheel, which I actually got from my college makeup kit, but the colors are quite dark. So I said, oh, I'll take this for me. So this is really cute. I like to use this sometimes. I really have to contour, so I want to learn with this. But um, Crown's actually really good makeup as well, so it's pretty cool. His favorite product is the Simple Toner, which is nothing special, which is literally called Simple. You can get this at a pound store, you can get it on Stretcher, anywhere that sells products like and stuff, you can buy this. Um, fairly cheap, maybe two pound, three pound, depending on the size. This came in a gift set, which I got for a present, so I don't know how much it costs, but really good toner makes your skin look really nice one complexion one tone it's lovely um so i would definitely recommend that um on to more makeup this is my nyx love contours all palette which i didn't i liked it when i looked at it in the store but then when i bought it at home i didn't like it as much so i didn't use it but now i love as you can't see it but this is my favorite highlight this one up here um the eyeshadow is okay but i don't really know how to do eyeshadow yet so i'm learning that as well um this highlight is okay let me see if you can get the color get the color yeah this one is just like a white one but i feel like it makes me look a bit ashy so i don't really like to use that um and yeah that's about it for this palette but this palette is about 20 pounds and i got it um at beauty the beauty, the beauty show in olympia i can't remember what it's called i think it's like beauty something i have no clue um next which is a bit of a shocker is the amber palette from primark now when i heard this palette came out i heard that it was supposed to be like a replica of urban decay's palette but i thought hmm like urban decay's a bit expensive i'm not gonna be like forking out like 40 pounds for one makeup palette when i can't even do eyeshadow so i was like hmm sounds kind of interesting so then i heard this is supposed to be like a little replica so i was like do you know what it's cheap it's four pounds i was like i'm gonna buy it so I bought it from Primark and I actually really like it. The colors inside are gorgeous, gorgeous color range. Um, pigmentation, I mean, it is Primark, but for Primark, it is not too bad. Do some quick little swatches in there. So this isn't all of the colors, but most of the colors, and they have quite a lot of pigmentation. Um, so I yeah, would recommend this as well, really cheap, accessible everywhere. I guess every city, every little town has a Primark. So just pop into your nearest one and pick this up and try it for yourself. You won't be disappointed. And also on the back, it has all of them and it has all their names. I didn't even notice this until just now. So, you know guys, so, you know. Check it out. Then I have this Revolution palette, which I bought from Superdrug for four pounds as well. I bought it at the same time I bought this. Um, I went to Primark and then went to Superdrug straight after. I actually love this palette because this palette has orange in it. I really wanted a palette of orange. This has orange as well, but I wanted one with more of a pigmented type orange. This has orange, it's got peach, it's got brown, it's got such neutral colors and I love it. I love it, so I decided to buy it. I've used it once or twice because I, as I said, don't really like to do eyeshadow yet. So I'm learning with these palettes and stuff like that. So yeah, this is one of my favorites as well. Um, and this is the MAC Eye and Lip Makeup Remover. I don't know if you guys can see, but this makeup remover is my all time favorite to remove my eye makeup because that is the trickiest makeup to get off, especially mascara, which is like pain so bad. But with this, it makes it so much easier. A couple wipes and the mascara's gone. 
it doesn't leave that ugly black stuff around your eyes as well because i really hate that so i would highly recommend this i was gonna say it's not cheap it's like I think it's over 15 pounds because obviously mac is fairly expensive stuff so it's not cheap at all but i do highly recommend it because it is good stuff next i have my sasha buttercup baking powder you guys can see i know this is on youtube everywhere everyone's talking about this powder and when i saw the hype initially i thought oh like what's so great about it because obviously i have the um i have the ben Nye. I have this one and when I used to use this I used to get the worst flashback and I think what the hell am I doing wrong oh my god it close this properly but yeah I think what the hell am I doing wrong like why is it not why do I look so ashy and then I discovered this and since discovering this guys my life has changed my face is no longer ashy when I do my makeup and take pictures so I would definitely recommend this it's 20 pound so it's a fair bit of money again this one's like four pound and to be honest it looks like four pound because it's rubbish so i mean i always say that it's about the product because if you buy cheap products you're gonna get dead results that's just how it usually goes so yeah because i have my nyx matte finish spray which i use occasionally sometimes i use it alongside the powder this morning i used it alongside the powder on my face um very nice spray you know it's very lightweight obviously it doesn't feel too heavy um dries quite quickly as well sprayed it when i was up here I was rushing downstairs to get out of the house and by the time i got downstairs it was dry so it's very good for like drying and stuff like that this avon don't know if you guys can see really sticky blue yeah you guys can see it it's like a really sticky blue um I don't know what to call it like strip which you put over your nose and it helps to clear your pores obviously you don't do it when you've got makeup on but you put it over your pores and it helps to clean out your pores and get all the dead and stuff from the sides and corners of your nose out which i think is really good because obviously it gets really clogged up there and stuff like that is great next i have muzzle's own brushes i can only find two at the moment let me see if i can have a look and find the rest i found the other two and these came in a set and these were 40 pounds from muzzle's own um and they're so cute i love them they're so soft this is a foundation brush this is the powder brush and this is the eyeshadow blending brush which as you can see has a little bit of eyeshadow in it um and this is the concealer brush yeah so out of all of these i only really use the eyeshadow and the powder brush i don't use a brush for my foundation i used to but it was not it used to leave streaks so i stopped using a brush so now i use my beauty blender which i think is in my handbag and i use that on my face um I have this this is my beauty blender yeah I went to go get my makeup kit this is my beauty blender oh my god yeah it's my beauty blender from Primark people say Primark beauty blenders are too hard but I wet mine a lot a lot so as you can hear there's still water in it but I like mine like that because I can just you know dab it dab 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 and it's good enough for me don't need to spend £10 on a beauty blender really next I have my this is my highlighting brush which is from Mink um which is a fairly expensive makeup set um next i have my lip liner no it's not my lip liner it's my eyebrow pencil and it's super thin and if you can see let me see if i can put my hand behind it very easy to read so there's no point even ha having that in a video um and then next i have my eyebrow pencil no my lip pencil get it mixed up this is my lip pencil and this is my eyebrow pencil and they're both from mac this was 14 pounds this was 20 pounds but i paid seven because i had a gift card um then yo where the fenty at no what where's fenty oh no this ain't funny this ain't a joke where's fenty y'all can't find my fenty foundation oh no oh no 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 this ain't a joke Mm. this eyeshadow palette this palette is from the internet from amazon for like two pound it's really good it's got really nice colors and all of that 
so I love it. Guys, I'm a funny. I nearly had a heart attack. Oh my god, this is like near enough for time. I'm not trying to use my makeup. So I found it. Fenty Beauty in the shade for that's like upside down, ain't it? Yeah. No, it's not. Yeah, it says at the top 450 in a sticker. So that is all my makeup, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will leave all the products in the description box down below so you can go and find them. I've also got a makeup tutorial video coming out as well. I don't know if it will be out before or after this one, so we'll just have to wait and see. But thank you so much for watching, guys. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. Please share my channel because you know, you got trying to be on 50 subscribers by the end of the year. But Thanks. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys.